Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amritlal Paswan and you are going to introduced with my 6th generation combat aircraft concept. If you don't know about 5 generations of fighter planes then sit back and watch my previous videos, link in description. There are many capabilities a 6th generation fighter plane must feature and I shortlisted 5 of them as very very important. The first one is stealth ability. The stealth ability of any object decreases its radar cross-section or in another words makes it electronically invisible. To make a stealthy aircraft one must design it as linearly as possible and avoid sharp corners. But there is another catch to it. What I did, I just studied the designs of wings and fins from F-22 Raptor and the fuselage design from F-35. By combining these two designs, we can create better avionics and invisibility for our plane. The second feature is supercruising ability without using afterburner. If any plane can cruise at a speed of greater than Mach 1, it's called supercruising. Till now, more specifically till 4th generation, fighter planes used to cruise at Mach 0.5 to Mach 0.9 and used their afterburner for a temporary boost in speed during a dogfight or altitude climbing. Using afterburner consumes a lot of fuel and after breaking sound barrier, it even increases. So Mach 1 plus speed for fighter planes was just temporary, not meant to cruise. But then fighter planes like F-22 Raptor, Dassault Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, Sub JAS-39E Gripen and prototypes like Lockheed YF-22 Raptor and Northrop YF-23 Black Widow built with this insane ability. The Raptors and Black Widows are even capable of super cruising without using afterburner. So it would be a pleasure to fly a plane at Mach 1.5 without using afterburner. Well let's come to the third feature. It will be hyper maneuverability. More or less we all know that if somehow a plane gets into a dogfight, its fate will depend on how fast it can change the trajectory. To make a plane more mobile, we need features like thrust vectoring, wider and faster control surfaces flight computers, etc. Now the fourth master feature in a 6th generation fighter plane is internal weapon bay. To enhance the stealth ability and increase the maneuverability, it will be the best way to keep all the weights close to the center of the plane. And the fifth and last feature is wider radar range. That's kinda easy because all we have to do is install a high resolution camera. And I personally added another feature which is VTOSL or vertical takeoff short landing. By combining this all the 6 features, I was finally able to make my first prototype. This is what I made. I used one directional 4 vertically mounted turbine sets to do a vertical takeoff or landing, two powerful gyroscopes to make quick turns, a wider range of wings to maximize lift and torque, and used two high speed turbojet engines for enough thrust. But the first issue of this design was speed. The jets are powerful indeed but still afterburner was necessary to cruise or cross above Mach 1. Also infrared signature of these engines were so high that despite of being stealthy it could get detected. I tried every possible modification to the engines and the plane but the result was same. Then I remembered something. If you remember correctly I posted some of my electrified high speed fighter plane designs in community where I used the same turbine set with higher energy density and the motors had a top RPM of 20,000. So I used that in the place of the current engines and it led me to a lighter design and increased payload space for my plane. So the second design featured these facilities. There, were, there was just one issue left which was thrust vectoring. The jet engines of any plane can vector their thrust to a maximum angle of 35 degrees but the real engineering masterpieces uses a special jet nozzle which turns itself into many directions to perfectly focus the compressed air coming out of the engines. There are many planes using this technique to improve their mobility. As example, planes like F-22 Raptor, Chengdu J-20, McDonnell Douglas F-15 Stall, Sukhoi Su-30, Sukhoi Su-35, Sukhoi Su-57 uses two-dimensional thrust vectoring and Chengdu J-10, Mikoyan MiG-35, General Dynamics F-13 Vista and F-18 Harrier Mitsubishi X-2 uses dim uh, three-dimensional thrust vectoring. In my first prototype, 
I used two dimensional thrust vectoring and after dozens of experiments my final prototype has a three dimensional thrust vectoring system. After some modifications at last my sixth generation fighter plane is ready. Introducing ABM 15 from it. <laughs>